and the spring wind returns in a big way out there today. Taking a look at some of the peak wind gusts from around the region. 63 miles per hour out in Winslow and out in the little Colorado River Valley where, where the strongest winds were. There was some blowing dust out in that direction as well. 55 mile per hour wind gust at Flagstaff Pulliam Airport and down the line. Williams, Prescott, Page, Grand Canyon, you know, nobody really getting out of the wind out there today. And wind really in northern Arizona is just useless. There's not a lot you can do with it. 57 degrees are high temperature today. The wind overnight last night, keeping the air well mixed, not letting the coldest air settle. At the surface, 44 degrees, our early morning low this morning. And that's a record, obviously not a record low minimum. It's a record low maximum or uh, maximum low temperature, meaning the warmest the overnight temperature has ever been on this date of March 22nd. That's due to the wind blowing out there last night. All right, step out of the way here. Take a look at the uh, precipitation, which there hasn't been much around here in a long time. That is not the case for other people throughout the West. It's just not working out for the Southwest. Yet another storm system moving through the inner mountain West, bringing decent snow, the high deserts of Nevada into the Wasatch. And it's going to be a big snowmaker for the Rocky Mountains of Colorado as we make our way through the night tonight. We've got a dry cold front sweeping into Arizona right now. That's the reason for all the very strong winds out of the west southwest today. When you look at this map, you're like, oh, where exactly is that cold front? Somewhere up in there. We can also try to identify the cold front if we switch it over to the water vapor imagery and see where the dry and more moist air is. And uh, in this particular situation, dry air is coming in out ahead of the cold front for us in Arizona. A lot of times you see the moist air out ahead of the cold front, but not on a dry cold front. So I would say looking at this you got the cold front just diving into the northern portion of the state with still westerly winds um, honking across the state right now. So then we go look at the observation map and try to pick out where is this cold front. And what I have on here is wind flags across Arizona and they come from the direction that the wind's coming from. We're westerly, northwesterly. Here's the Grand Canyon. Here we are at Flagstaff. And when you get behind the cold front, winds switch from southwesterly westerly to more northerly. So we're seeing these northerly winds. And then if we wanted to analyze where the cold front is just for the heck of it, because we've got nothing else to talk about, I'd put it right about here. We're going through the Grand Canyon right now and then up to Colorado. You notice the winds are still out of the west. And as long as we're out in front of the cold front, we'll still have strong winds. You get behind the cold front and they'll start to drop off. And as we get through the night tonight, we will see the winds start to diminish. Outside right now, winds still gusting to 31 miles per hour, 46 degrees, a little bit of cloud cover out there over the San Francisco peaks, maybe a little bit of flurries up there, really insignificant. Overnight tonight, behind the front, the winds diminish, and we'll have a cold night overnight tonight, 22 degrees. The full worm moon, named so because this is the time of year where the garden soils start to warm up, worm castings, and it's the first sign of some robin starting to show up possibly in your yard. Okay, tomorrow, a cool day, not windy, yay. 50 degrees, our high temperature, 57 the average for this time of year. Very, it's been uh, not very often we're talking about high temperatures below average, it seems, this uh, calendar year. 63 in Sedona tomorrow, 60 Prescott, Payson, 60 degrees. All right, the extended forecast here, uh, Thursday, Friday, look to be uh, the most pleasant days as temperatures warm up, nice light wind, and uh, we get a little bit breezy to windy again this weekend. Another Another dry cold front moving through on Saturday. Sunday looks to be a pretty uh, nice day out there. Not, not